This is a wonderful testimony by a woman named Ida Lowry. She lived in Chicago, Illinois, and she was dying of a breast cancer. I'd like to read to you her letter to John Alexander Dowie, dated May 16, 1894. Jesus is the same today as he was in 1894, as he was in the year 33, when he walked the shores of Galilee. I share this dramatic testimony with you to encourage you in healing. Dear Dr. Dowie, I feel called upon to tell you how much I have benefited by your teaching in the past six weeks and what the Lord has done for me. For the past three years, my left breast has given me much trouble. I had it examined by Dr. M. G. Pomptius in Canton, Ohio, where I resided at that time. And the doctor pronounced it a cancer and entreated me to have it operated on at once. In August 1892, I was examined by the examining physician at the Cook County Hospital of this city and he pronounced my case an alarming one. He also advised me to consult two or three doctors whom he considered good surgeons. The following week, Dr. Halstead examined me and pronounced it a cancer and thought an operation at once advisable. <clears throat> he said in three months I would not want to operate on you and in one year you will be a dead woman if you do not have immediate attention. Remember, you are taking your life in your own hands. I went home very much discouraged, but could not make up my mind to submit to an operation, as I have always had a horror of surgery. In March 1893, I was examined by Dr. Skiles, the homeopathic surgeon at the sanitarium at Garfield Park. He advised me to undergo a surgical operation at once. I promised to decide as to what I would do in the two weeks following, but could not make up my mind to submit to an operation, so I decided to wait a little while longer. In October 1893, my old doctor from Ohio was here attending the fair and called upon me and entreated me to have Dr. Belfield examine me, and I did so. He advised me to have the breast removed at once. I thought the matter over very seriously and finally decided that I would prefer to die if it was the Lord's will rather than to be butchered by Chicago surgeons. My doctor went back to Ohio, my former home, and informed my friends that it was only a matter of time with me and I would not consent to an operation and that I would not live a year. Dr. Pontius also informed my husband that Dr. Belfield coincided with his opinion in the case, in other words, that it must be fatal before long. From that time I never saw another physician. Early in April, my husband read to me a long account of, quote, the Reverend Dr. Dowie and his missions, end quote, from the pages of the Inter-Ocean newspaper. And on the following Friday, I went down to Zion Tabernacle to hear you preach. I was so impressed by the service that I arose with a multitude of others and made open repentance and confession of my sins. When I left the tabernacle, I was at peace with God, and from that time was fully convinced of the truth of his teaching that the Lord Jesus Christ is the healer of all diseases. I began to pray earnestly for my healing, and went as often as possible to the tabernacle, hoping to see you in the healing room. 
There were such multitudes there, many of whom seemed to be suffering great pain, that I put off asking for a ticket from day to day. But I still continued praying privately, and one night, about ten o'clock, when alone in my room, I entreated God earnestly to heal me. At that moment, I was suffering much pain. But in the morning, but immediately the pain passed away, and great ease and peace followed. In the morning, I found that the discharge from the cancer in my breast had entirely ceased and that the breast was rapidly assuming a natural form. This has continued until the present time. My breast has returned to its original condition and is now perfectly healthy. My healing, although due under God to your teaching, was entirely without any personal communication or contact with you. For until the day on which I write this letter, I have never spoken to you or touched your hand. I praise God, therefore, that I am well and happy through the Holy Spirit's blessings upon your teachings, which have led me into this happy experience. Since I began to attend your meetings, I can truly say that I am healed in spirit, soul, and body, and have experienced more true happiness during this period than in all my previous life. I thank God today that he has sent so faithful a servant as Dr. Dowie to Chicago, and I hope that he and his good and noble wife may be permitted to remain here for a long time and to continue the great and good work of bringing sunshine into many clouded homes as they have into my home. Even my dear children were told by my Canton doctor that in a year their mama would be gone. But now they and my husband can rejoice with me in the entire disappearance of the deadly disease which beclouded all our happiness. I give glory to God and heartfelt thanks to yourself and am very truly your sister in Christ. Mrs. Ida W. Lowry, 2828 Calumet Avenue, Chicago. Dr. Dowie, by way of introducing his testimony, said, We have great pleasure in introducing to you, as witness to divine healing, Mrs. Lowry and her sweet little baby girl, Jeannie Dowie Lowry. The baby was six weeks old when this picture was taken. There is much joy and happiness in that home, where the wife and mother is spared to her husband and children, and this little treasure added to the home circle. This is one of the miracles of healing. The little one takes its nourishment from the breast, which, if the advice of the doctors had been taken, would have been amputated, but which is now sound, healthy, and natural, restored whole as the other. We can testify to what we have seen and know. To God be all the glory. The testimony which follows was given to us shortly after her healing. But Mrs. Lowry and the little one have repeatedly since then given testimony and been on evidence in the tabernacle. Mr. and Mrs. Lowry brought the little one for the first outing to give thanks to God in the presence of all people. May this beautiful and touching testimony help many other women similarly afflicted to turn to the great physician who is not only able but willing to heal spirit, soul, and body for those of his children who give themselves entirely into his hand. I pray that the reading of this testimony will be an encouragement to you in believing God for the healing of your condition. Whatever it may be, there is truly nothing too hard for the Lord. And this is indeed a notable and remarkable healing. God bless you.